What's up guys, Zan from Forward Progress Madden here. Today we're going to take a look at a request to look at the New England Offensive Playbook and plays that are playbook exclusive. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take you through the Gun Split Patriot. And the play that we're going to come out in is Pat's Deep Dig. This play is actually not playbook exclusive. Uh, it is called 689 hook in most plays playbooks and what we're going to do with this scheme is we're going to go ahead and put Chad Ochocinco or your best uh, out route rocket catcher at the left spot we're going to put Rob Gronkowski at this right flanker position and use Wes Walker in the traditional slot role Aaron Hernandez can play our right fullback slash tight end, H-back position. And he's going to be one of the primary uh, threats in this, this look. In our last spot, we'll go to our best pass-catching running back, Kevin Falk. You can use Danny Woodhead if you'd like, but I'm going to go ahead and use Kevin Falk because he's a little bit better um, catching the ball. He's a better third-down type back than Danny Woodhead is. So what we're going to do is we're going to come out and Pat's Deep Dig, run it against random play on defense. What we're going to do with this every single down is we're going to motion Rob Gronkowski over to read man or zone. We've read zone, and we see it's a too high look. So what we're going to do is we're going to run three vertical concept with Wes Walker running a slot seam, Gronkowski running a slot seam, and Ocho Cinco running a streak from the split end position. What our read is going to be is to look at the Gronkowski Kevin Falk high low. Gronkowski's route is so good we left him on it. It was an old school fade, and when we motion it over, it's actually a great inside release seam. So when we snap the ball, we notice the two high shell spreads. Gronkowski occupies that slot. We throw an inside pass lead and pick up the first down. Pick this up a little faster here. Motion Gronkowski over. We read zone with one high safety. So this is a little different. What we'll do is we'll go with the same high-low read. Ocho Cinco goes on a smarted out route. And then you can either go backside curl flat with Wes Walker and Aaron Hernandez. Or you can go backside flood with Gronkowski. I'm sorry. Hernandez and Walker. For this one, we're going to go ahead since we're reading Blitz and put Walker on a curl to use that curl flat. It's just a decoy, but Gronkowski pulls the zones back and Falk sits down underneath. As you can see here, we'll take a look how the outside linebacker drops into a flat and Kevin Falk runs his hook route and sits down nicely underneath the zone. We could have thrown the out route rocket to Ocho Cinco with an outside pass lead and clicked on and hold down and Y. Welker was actually open in his uh, slot curl as well, so the curl flat worked excellent there. Another way to attack any coverage from this formation is to use the PA quick audible. It's called PA flanker screen. What we're going to do at first is we're going to block Kevin Falk towards the middle to help out. We're still going to motion Gronkowski. Now, you may be asking, well, if we're motioning Gronkowski, doesn't that take the screen away? In fact, it doesn't. What we're going to do here is we're going to actually do another curl flat concept on the outside with Ocho Cinco and Gronkowski. It's a simple high low. But to create more space, we're going to smart route Ocho Cinco. Now, what we do to make this screen work is we're going to put Wes Walker on either a streak, a smarted curl, or an out route, a smarted out route. And we're going to put Aaron Hernandez on a fade. And you'll notice when we snap the ball, he gets out nicely behind his blockers. There, our right tackle gets in the way, but we'll go ahead and run this back. This time we read man coverage, and what we want to do is we want to make sure that we run the same flanker screen with Falk blocking. And 
we want to clear everyone out. This is because if we leave Welker in the area, his man will stay in the area, impeding the ability to have success with the uh, running back bubble screen. So as you can see here, we go ahead and throw it out there, fall our blockers, pick up about right there. We only got about six yards. But as you can see, the matchup we want is for Welker to clear out. See how he does so, and we get the two blockers out in front of Hernandez. They just didn't pick up Bart Scott there. The fade is definitely a weapon. And what's nice is that you can do it to the other running back too, the fade out of the backfield. And that's nice because you can use the slip screen and the traditional running back slip screen and do the same thing. So go ahead and start looking at this gun split Patriot. That request was by T. Chamberlain. So T. Chamberlain, I hope that you enjoy this little breakdown. I will show that there is actually a nice uh, playbook exclusive run in this formation as well. Um, we've been using the Gronkowski motion to set up all of our plays. And I'm a sucker this year for anything with inside zone blocking, meaning that you get a double team. Right here we're facing a 155, so it's a little tough. But you get that double team on the nose tackle with your backside guard in your center. This is a little bit more traditional. What we do is we'll still motion Gronkowski, but if it's man coverage, we'll hit, let him clear out so Revis isn't in the middle of the play. And then we'll snap it and see that backside double team. We go ahead and work off of that and cut it back. I love inside zone blocking because you know what you're getting. Same thing. Motion Gronkowski over. If you read man, let him take Revis all the way across before you snap it. Just follow your blockers. This blast is a great play. So T. Chamberlain, I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. Video is getting a little long, so I'll go ahead and sign off. If anybody has any requests, hit me up on the YouTube page. Send me a tweet at Peyton Zanning. That's Peyton Manning, except you replace the M with a Z. Or you can email me at zan at competeforever.com. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.